Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great morning today. Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Last week's episode of Godless, we actually have some stakes. Yeah. Not that we'd have stakes to begin with, but right. we have stakes now. Yeah. For, uh, for these characters. For, the, for these characters, right. Um, I think the stakes are high in a miniseries, anything goes, obviously. Sure. Um, but you, you kind of expect for your main characters, especially your name actors, that the, the <laughs> plot armor at least lasts until the last episode of yeah. the miniseries. And with Sam Watterson dying at the very end, at the very end it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, not the case. And I completely expect, like, Thinking about the show, like from the beginning, it's like, okay, he's going to be one of the three or four main characters who sure. are going to be there for a last stand with Frank. Sure. Obviously. And they really defied that expectation in a big way. Yeah. Or he'd have, I, I thought he was going to have some sort of like heroic send off, you know, but, but it was uh, murdered in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very reminiscent of like, uh, it's, it's different, but like Leo and the Departed. Sure. You know what I mean? It just kind of comes out of nowhere. Shocking. But, yeah. Death. And I, I, I thought that was very well done, especially since we saw Jeff Daniels for that one scene. That was it. He was in the show for maybe 60 seconds. I think all he said was howdy, Marshall. And that was like his only line. Howdy, Marshall. Bang. Yeah. yeah. And, was, and that was it. Something uh, like that. Yeah. And that, that was his entire presence. He, again, we don't, like we've kind sense. of compared him to Jaws, right? Yes. And that is exactly what that presence is, yes. right? He's looming over it and he's an incredible threat whenever he's actually around. And I think the stakes for me are raised mm -hmm. in the fact that, um, the sheriff, whose name I always seem to forget. I do, too. Um, they just call it Bill. I think maybe it's Bill. It's, it is Bill. His last name is Bill. Right. So Bill is following him and is like, well, the stakes are incredibly high for Bill. Yeah. Because, one, the army's not coming, and he expects that that's what he's doing, is linking yeah. up with the army and with um, Sam Watterson's character, yep. who are, neither one of them are a factor anymore. So it's just right now he he's kind of unknowingly following Blind, Frank, blindly by blindly, himself. Yeah. So he's so he's chasing down 30 guys by himself right now yeah. and doesn't know it. I. I think he's going to be okay. You think so? I don't know. I, well, because uh, oh, like we, we thought Sam. I, I think be... so. I think so too. I, if I think they you're have right. them both die, it would just be before like, before okay, before if, right. Like, like we just kind of wipe out all the yeah. characters right up until the end. It's like who's going to be left? Just the ladies? Which I would be. If which they I think go that be... route, they'd have to commit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, for sure. And and I think they might. You know, I, sure. I I don't think that the the ladies of Labelle are are not going to participate in the end. Yeah. I definitely don't feel like it's going to be like. Roy and Bill against thirty guys. I, I don't no think chance. we're gonna. Yeah, I don't. I no don't chance. think. And I, I think it kind of really takes away from the story of like mm -hmm. you kind of jump the shark and now all of a sudden it's a superhero movie. And I don't think that's the case. One thing I am certain of, I think that we're gonna have a, a showdown between Roy and Jeff Daniels' character. Yeah, I think so too. That's coming, and I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I, I'm kind of hoping you get a little bit more of their backstory. They mentioned the. Uh, uh, the, was it a sister? It was somebody that she, there's some woman that, that that he lived with until he was 15 and joined Roy, they said. Yes. Well, uh, uh, Roy came, what, well, Roy is, is the, uh, is Jack, Jack, uh, okay. Jack O'Connell. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, he, he, he grew up in an orphanage. Yes. Until he was 15 and then he went off with, uh, with Frank. With Frank. So I don't know. Um, I, I would like to get more from Roy. I'm, get more of that. Obviously the letter. Sure. I don't want any more of Jeff Daniels' backstory. I like the story that we got. I like that he's yeah. I think we kind of covered it, right? He was he was a guy that was, that, was a, that was kind of abducted by a cult. We spent the first two episodes covering that. Let's just keep him like the the, sure. the, the shark from Jaws. All right, we should jump into it because again, this is a long Super episode. Long, yeah. All right, we do want to thank all of our Patreon subscribers for being here with us. I'd like to give a special shout out to Actuarial Lurker, Balas Fulvez, Chris, Jeff, Christy Goverston, NJ, Suri Gundavarapu, and Weird Magic. Thank you so much, guys. We're very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. If you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. If you might hit the like button for us leave us a comment down below and please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or currently watching please check out a link in the description below to our patreon page on every show we're watching including godless we're at least four episodes ahead on patreon of where we're on youtube so if you get done watching the youtube edits here and you want to keep going you can go on our patreon page you will have to sync and watch along on your own netflix you're only going to see us for copyright purposes and we are also watching 30 rock currently as a patreon exclusive we're gonna need this one <laughs> Yeah, especially if you're godless. Making sure this, okay, just making sure we're still there. Look like it cut out on me. Getting a getting a backstory of the mining accident at Bell. Yeah. Interesting choice of how they did mm -hmm. this, yeah. Almost like a fever dream. Like yeah. Whitey. He was probably just a, a kid back then, too, you know? Yeah. Poor Whitey happened to deliver this news, too. He grew up quick, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. You watch this, and it's like, um, can we please get more Jeff Daniels as, a, as an unhinged villain? Yeah. Because he is perfect. I know he's busy with like, on Broadway, and he does a bunch of work, mm -hmm. but like, it's not enough for, for, uh, for, right. my, for my taste. Well, the the sheriff didn't do anything. Just let Griffin ride into town. 
I did. And then I just let him ride on out. I just want to get a rope around a man's neck before he does any more damage. Yeah, I think he's going to be okay. Yeah. He's, he's, he's very heroic. Yeah. All right, let's see what awful mess he's going to do now. <laughs> Leave these poor people alone, whatever is going yeah. on. God. Oh. He's got smallpox or something going on. Yeah, don't. Go, why would you go in there? He's, he's a weird man. He's not scared. He thinks he knows when he's going to die. That's, that's true. Because he's nuts. Yeah. Could you at least say a prayer for us before you go? I ain't leaving you, child. Oh, he's in black then. Yeah, he is. We came out here also to let you know that the LaBelle claim has recently been bought out by the Quicksilver Mining Syndicate, and we're going to be starting up again real soon. One or two of them ladies might get it in their heads to come out here and ask for help. So these guys are evil. They're, they really they're, are. they're telling these guys to leave them alone yeah. so that they can do their horrible stuff. If you do as I say, just mind your own business. We'll look after you. Once again, it's a real honor, sir. I need you to go down to that creek we passed. Fill that up. Yes, sir. Then I need you to start digging some graves. Most people actually recovered from smallpox. It was like one third of people died. Sure. It's been a long time since anyone's shown any real kindness around here. Lady, you have no idea. Well, that's sad. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Maggie. Oh, that'd be surreal. Yeah. It's like when it's like, I call dibs. Whoa. Oh, unless... Unless they save her. Oh, my ah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Bill saved her. Okay. I hope he frees all the other people. people yeah. Who tied up too. You're gonna be all right now, man. Man, this makes me like Bill so much more. <laughs> Bill's awesome. Solid this, dude. This this episode's like, here's why Bill is great. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that the glasses are broken is a nice yeah. touch. Oh, the the bees. Yeah. Even with thirty horses. They'll still be hard to follow. B tell you all that? Yeah, this is like the worst kind of person right here. Yeah, he is. Some predator. For sure. Bill McNew certainly didn't capture this man. Well, where is Sheriff McNew? Because I'd still love to speak with him. Marshal John Cook, have RG in custody in LaBelle. We'll meet up in Ola Grand, signed Bill McNew. You got a fox in the hen house. This is the guy that's going to help Frank find him, isn't he? 100%. I hate this guy. <laughs> How would you boys feel about having some company? He'd be just fine. He had not been on a proper hunt in I don't know how long. <laughs> that's her. I think it might like, do her oh. some good. <laughs> also give me some peace and quiet. That is not what Roy meant. <laughs> Hunting with Grandma. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, crap. Thought they tried here where it wasn't as wide, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. My name is Lucy Cole. And what do I call you two? I'm Jim Gooden. This is my brother, Roy. We're on our way to California. Are you now? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna start a ranch out there. Yeah, yeah. sure did. Yeah. Yeah. I like the passive aggressive move of dressing it right next to where he's asleep. Right. <laughs> Mr. Hunter. It's, it's a big forest. Yeah. <laughs> the damn deputy. Oh, we ain't seen the boy around. But then we ain't really had no use for him neither. Y'all seem to have made yourselves right at home. That was the arrangement, wasn't it? And they take 90% of their money, too. I hate him so much. Yeah. This guy sucks. He does. 
Dang. What is it you think you know? It's not what I think I know. It's what I've seen. Though I should have expected it. Given what you are. Well, now I don't think they were having an affair. Well, I would love to buy you a glass of beer and have a chat. I like beer. Good. <laughs> we burnt tap it off. Yeah. <laughs> I still like beer. Boy like you is liable to get a girl in the usual fix than vault. Yeah. I'm going to give you a bath. <laughs> no, you ain't. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Louise! <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, good thing you left those britches on. <laughs> yeah. Both of you, get on out of there. I see you back here. It ain't gonna be you I lay a hand on, understand? Bro. That's a dark yeah, threat. Yeah, you gotta suck. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I kind of thought they were gonna be the heroes. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Oh, no, no, no. Sure. Yeah, good. You all right, son? Oh, he's just resting. It's contemplating murder. Well, and there's no way she would have been okay with him shooting her dad no. right then. No way. Is this a sick house? Yeah, I think so. So he's close. I guess we are going to get an answer to this. Yep, he killed and buried everybody. Yep. Really good camera work there. That was fantastic. I'm assuming that was her. Yeah, good call. Yeah, the ribbon. Newspaper man from Taos wrote in town yesterday. Oh, yeah. A fellow by the name of Grig. Bill McNude captured Roy Good. What all gave him that idea? He's not at all the kind of man that stop a young fella from hurting himself. Yeah. Looked like he'd be the one doing the hurting. We've got these two are friends now. Me too. Now they see now they see Bill. <laughs> you know you're welcome to stay with us for as long as you like. I'll go get a blanket and come with you. You ain't going nowhere. He means what's best for you. You can't leave me here. You stay right here with Sister Lucy. And wait for me to come back. Hey, little brother. I'm glad his brother had that realization of like not taking him along. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the dad energy is strong, you're right. For sure. Yeah. Afternoon, mister. Afternoon. Well, now who can blame us for picking the same beautiful spot? Yeah. There they are. You get that coat bunched up like it's Christmas. Yeah, well. Is he hiding his badge? Yeah, he definitely is. Oh, crap. Yeah. I think you're not what you say you are. You the law? Graham. He is Man. no coward. Nope. Sometimes men want me to kill him. So they can die attached to some purpose. Uh -huh. Wow. <gasps> Good luck to you, sir. I can't believe he just let him go. I can't. I, well, great tension because the last episode, right? Right. With yeah. Sam Watterson. Yeah, you're going to need some help, Bill. Yeah, this is not a one man job. No. I feel like. Oh, I like that music. Yeah. Uh, I feel like if he uh, had his. If he was in a crime, he would have known. Then the right. Right. Um, but yeah, whoever that is following Bill, lucky, lucky charm. Yeah, he, yeah I think, I think times. he might have shot him if the guy wasn't there. For whatever reason, I don't I don't see Bill, you know, um, Frank not killing him just because there was a witness. Yeah, that doesn't seem like anything he would ever. No, because he just with. killed. Him. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like you know, or like the bartender just let him go. Who exactly. Cares? Yeah. Or like also, I don't know. think he's trying to keep a low profile. He's not. That's why he has that reporter. But right. Yeah. Laying scorched earth for him. Um, I I thought this was a really important episode in terms of fleshing out characters, backstories. Obviously, yeah. we talked about that in the beginning. Uh, obviously, Roy's got a very sad past. They yeah, all, they sure. all, they all. 
You know, every, yeah. every, every character in the show has some sort of uh, tragedy in their past. Yeah, I don't know how Roy ends up hooking up with Frank, but it can't be a good story. <laughs> Whatever it is, it can't be. A, he didn't just decide to, at, at 15 to become a to become an outlaw. Yeah. Something something bad is going to happen. Roy goes to, or uh, Frank goes to Moses and kind of lays waste to that orphanage. And... Well, they're still there. I mean, so, I mean the, remember the... Oh, they had the note that okay. was... Sam, Sam Watterson had the note that had Sister What's-Her-Name on it. Sure. He's He's still there, sure. I, I think. Um, yeah, and I guess we'll have to we'll Direct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah I don't, I don't, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's still, it's still, it has to be awful, right? Yeah. Whatever it is, because he's the devil. Um, Truly. <laughs> right. You know, I, I didn't know what I was expecting when we saw Frank in the sick house. Right. Um, it was, it was a little jarring to see him helping. And I was like, because like, obviously, like, he is completely detestable, even if he was going to help those people. Like, it, it doesn't make he up for life. He did. Yeah, he's just deranged. He is freaking deranged. Yeah, it, it's some kind of weird culty, you know what I mean? It, it, it's really weird. But like, for a second there, I was like, are we going to get like a, a layer of complexity added to, to Frank where like he helps these people, but he still lays waste to like innocent people on the prairie? And obviously we we got our answer right. It's it, it's 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 pretty simple. This man needs to be put down. Well, I I think he I don't think he does think he's evil. He does that's, think that's, he's evil. That's, he does that, not think that's, he's evil. That's the interesting thing about his character is he does lay waste to these people. He he helps them for a while, like the guy saving. said. He helps them until he gets bored with it, and then he says, "Well, I'll save them by killing them all and burying yeah. them because that's what that's what good people do." Because it, he does these horrible things because he thinks he's being righteous when all he is is a psychotic reactionary. That's the terrifying thing is he's doing this in the name of God. You know what I mean? That's so or, scary, <laughs> or, or, or certainly in, in the name of him not thinking that it's wrong. Sure, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I buy that he thinks he's being godlike. I don't think he's gone quite that far. It's, but it's the. The perception of him being a preacher saying, I'm going to deliver you all from this. And it's like, like, that is, that's some horror movie stuff right there. Yeah, no, he's, really yeah, is. he is, he is a horror movie villain for sure. Um, he's, he's a slasher. And I think it's really, this, the show makes Jeff Daniels scary. Yeah. Jeff Daniels in real life and in other films seems like he's the nicest guy ever. Yeah, for you, sure. You know what I mean? I mean he's, like, he's definitely a, a complicated actor. And, and then you watch this and you're like, every time he's on screen, you're just, your blood runs cold. Right. It is very well done. It'd be like, it's kind of like if somebody make, made Tom Hanks a terrifying villain. You know, it's it's the same kind of yeah. like he's the same kind of like actor, um, but yeah. And then the, in terms of like things happening this episode, it was pretty mundane. Like we got like you know day to day stuff. Sure. You know, and I, I I liked the development further development of Roy kind of winning over the grandma. Sure. In this slightly, yeah. obviously she's still trepidations over him, but but at the same time. I like that they did that. I like that they went on this hunting trip and that like he laughed at her joke and she's kind of softening him a little bit. Sure. That was nice. Uh, we got more with Whitey and uh, the folks in the town over. Right. Um, they're not really heroic as well. They they used to be the Buffalo Soldiers. You know right. what I mean? Like they're and I understand why they want to stay away. You know they want. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's completely understandable. They're freed um, slaves. One hundred percent. They're not exactly like. Yeah, we love these people. But her dad kind of seems like he's a tough hang. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like that that was a little, you know, old school tough father love. For I don't, sure. I don't like it, but it doesn't make him a villain character. No, and also he's completely on board of staying away from that town. Like when I'm they sure. came over, and he's like, right. "Not a problem. We'll stay out of your way." You know what I mean? Um, but I think that's. I, I don't think he was caving to them. I think that was like, no, no, no he's we not. Always, he's not. We were always staying yeah, away. Was we, was what he was saying. We didn't introduce a new villain, right? I just want to see how that plays out in the sure. end. Sure. Will he have a change of heart? And you know, Possible. rally with the with the ladies right. of the bell, or is it going to be? I mean, they're there for a reason, right? They're in the 100%. story. They're in the story for a reason. So I, I would think so. I but... think if if they do rally with the ladies of the bell, the person to to get them to turn is going to be Whitey. Yeah, I, I would think you know? so. Um, so I think even though they're not, even though they're not big fans of Whitey's, but you know, Whitey didn't shoot the guy, <laughs> so I guess that's something. <laughs> we also got Michelle Dockery's backstory, um, which was horrifying. Horrifying. Right yeah. She had a she had a pretty rough origin story in the town. Yeah. And then we know later that the somebody in the town, one of the residents of the town, murders Shutter her husband. Back, yeah. yeah. So I can understand why there's no love lost among any of these people, which I think really does kind of set up the story of everyone kind of coming together for a, a, a common cause, and that common cause is Frank. Yeah. Um evil. Yeah, right. <laughs> like we all we all gotta put our stuff aside for for this one really important issue. Yeah. Um because I've already you know, the show starts with them wiping one town off the face of the earth. Um, and this one doesn't want to be the second one. If we don't come together, this 
godless monster is going to come and yeah. blow us off the face of the earth. That, that, that's a really good story, actually. Yeah, we are trucking right along towards the yeah, end. Here, three episodes we? left. Mm-hmm. We do. All All right. Right. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya. Yeah.